Ryan had to get on his horse, still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. On first and 10, Finley. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I wonder if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have now looked particularly good all game long. But nice throw there for a good game and a first down. So second and ten, third quarter. Thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Now, after that last play, there's a Bengal down on the field. And how might this affect him for the playoffs? We'll get a report when we come back. Third and short yardage, Finley. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Avery Williamson. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. On first down, it's Darnold. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. He's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a... The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. William Jackson. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> After the sack on first down, Darnold, he's got Herndon, his tight end. 
And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 25-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. A shotgun snap for Darnold. Able to connect with Mims. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. New York. Darnold from the gun. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. And this offense continues to pour it on. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. At their own 22-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And in enemy territory last time through the interception, we'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit.